Welcome. We have a water cool heat killer five water block for the GeForce ASUS Tough RTX 4080. In this episode, we will unbox the water cool heat killer water block and then install it onto the Tough 4080 PCB. We will then install the card in our test system, fill the custom loop, and perform testing to obtain thermal, power, and performance results. We will also lower and raise the power limit and undervolt and overclock the card. This is the Vector Network, and let's begin. This water cool heat killer 5 GPU water block is compatible with the ASUS Tough RTX 4080. Opening the box, the water block is right on top. Let's put it aside and we have an RGB cable. What's in the box are a set of mounting parts and Thermal Grizzly Thermal Paste. There are two packages of thermal pads one set for the front side of the PCB, and another set for the back plate. What's left is a Heat Killer 5 water block. The nickel plated copper cold plate has 48 0.3 millimeter fins, an acrylic jet plate, a dual layer inflow, and a symmetrical cooling design. The terminal and connection threads are integrated into the end of the unit, which also reduces the overall height of the water block. The aluminum backplate and screwless front cover is designed to combine and appear as a single unit. The installation begins by adding two Optimus plugs to the back of the terminal. Next, we have seven torque screws to remove from the backplate. And detachable cover. Lifting the backplate. Keep in mind there are two red plastic spacers to remove that are not used for installation. From there we have thermal pads to install directly onto the front side of the PCB. There's plastic film on both sides to remove before placing the thermal pad onto the PCB. Next we can apply some Noctua NTH2 thermal paste. And then we can drop the PCB right on top. There are four washers with a black foam side for each of the torque screws around the processor. Apply the washer black side down and the four torque screws are tightened in a crisscross pattern to apply tension more evenly. The back side thermal pads are next and both sides have plastic film to be peeled before placing the thermal pad directly onto the back plate. After that, we can drop the aluminum backplate directly on top of the PCB, followed by four torque screws for the backplate and another three torque screws for the branded cover. For fittings, let's add two EKWB Torque 90 degree adapters and two Coolance Quick Disconnect male fittings in black. Stay tuned as the fill followed by the testing is coming up right now. Let's use Mayhem's Eco Series X1 UV coolant in blue. Let's drop the RTX 4080 into our AM5 test system and attach the quick disconnect fittings. Click on the link in the top right hand corner for the ASUS Tough RTX 4080 unboxed thermals, de-shroud, and teardown video. The coolant is used for its combination of effectiveness and low conductivity. The colors chosen to best show the flow path and to provide a variety to the visuals. Clear coolant is a clear option when those aren't considerations. To obtain the results, 3 d Mark Speedway stress test was run on our open air test bench with ambient room temperatures at 21 degrees Celsius. For 100% power limit stock thermals, the GPU core temperature rose 22 degrees Celsius from an idle 28 to 50 degrees Celsius under load. The GPU memory temperature rose 22 degrees Celsius from an idle 32 to 54 degrees Celsius under load. Lowering the power limit to 70%, the GPU core and memory temperatures were 6 and 3 degrees Celsius lower, respectively, compared to 100% power limit. Undervolting the car to 0.95 millivolts and adding 135 megahertz to the core to arrive at a targeted 2730 MHz core clock, the GPU core and memory temperatures were 5 and 3 degrees Celsius lower, respectively, compared to 100% power limit. 
overclocking by increasing the power limit to 110%, adding 120 megahertz to the core and 600 megahertz to the memory clock. The GPU core and memory temperatures were both four degrees higher compared to 100% power limit. The 100% power limit is at 320 watts. Undervolting the card reduces the wattage from approximately 315 at 98% to 255 at 79%, a 60 watt or 19% reduction. Frames per second was recorded during 3D Mark Speedway stress test. As stock, the FPS was 73, and at 80% power limit, the FPS was 70, a 3 FPS or 4% reduction. Stay tuned for upcoming episodes as the plan is to further install this ASUS Tough RTX 4080 with a water cool heat killer 5 water block into a small form factor ITX custom loop water cool PC build. Like the video by clicking the like button. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. This is the Vector Network. Please click on the bell for notification when the next episode airs. Click on the links here for more videos like this, including video card and water cooling component teardowns, unboxings, and thermal testing for water cooled PC builds. Thank you, and I'll see you at the next episode.